Hello everyone, this is Matt from MMODen.com, welcoming you to another episode of Inside the Den. A quick peek at a game's features and overall gameplay. Now today, Inside the Den, we're going to take a look at Mission Against Terror. This is a first-person shooter MMO, and it's brought to us by Suba Games. Now if you like what you see in this video and you want to learn more about Mission Against Terror, check out MMODen.com or click the link below. Alright, here we go. So, as you can see, the uh, game has a couple servers. We're going to go ahead and log into this one. I don't know why verification failed. So let's log in real quick. <clears throat> Mission Against Terror is nothing new. It doesn't... Uh, can't offer, enter that server because we're not a clan. There we go. Uh, it's It doesn't offer a lot new, but it does have a unique game style. Um, you can see you got beginner channels very full. Um, I doubt there's only beginners in here. <clears throat> So today's news, we're going to go ahead and confirm. We'll get to the item all in a second. But it has the usual uh, game modes, team deathmatch, deathmatch, ghost mode, AI mode. Um, the stuff you're used to seeing in your first-person shooters. Um, since, it's, since its launch, it has added a ton of different uh, guns and things like that. But let's go take a look at that right now. So let's take a look at the item all. Um, I'm going to show you one thing really quick. The disappointing thing about this is the highest resolution you could play at. So I usually play at 1920 by 1200, but that's as high as you can go. So unfortunately, can't play at a much higher level than that, but what are you going to do? And as you see, the, uh, the sound levels are interesting. So you can hear the music is pretty loud in the background. I have it turned way down. And even if I turn it down lower, you can hear the music doesn't actually go down. So it's the Dolby sound and the interface effects and then the effects themselves that you actually have to turn down to turn the music down. The weirdest thing I know, but whatever. So you've got a couple of different macros you can set up so you can, uh, you can just shout out commands as you're playing the game. Just some, some different things to use. So you've got your magic painted egg. You've got uh, these are the new items. Let's take a look at the hot the hot top 20 which is your SVD green soul M4A1 silver AWP camouflage so you can see that and even in the melee weapons you got a saber something that you don't see in a lot of different melee weapons which is really funny I'll show you that in a second let me see if it's in here um, no um, but you can see right here if you want to create a clan you've got to go ahead you've got to buy in now, now you notice that there's gold and silver the gold is the actual cash shop stuff that you have to actually pay real, real world money for and the silver is stuff that you earn so I could technically buy this clan creation card because I do have over a hundred thousand but let's take a look at the uh, primary weapons you can see here you've got a lot of different weapons you've got four pages of weapons secondary weapons this is where it gets pretty funny you can actually use a brick as your melee weapon what's really funny about it is the damage is really high it's uh, 75 Whereas if you go over here to like this, you've only got 66. So pretty funny that the uh, <clears throat> the brick is more powerful than than some of these. It's even more powerful than this sh this shotgun right here. But hey, what are you gonna do? So you do have a bunch of you even have a snowball, kind of fun little things. Then you've got different clothes and outfit items that you can use. A lot of pages of that for both male and female different items and stuff that you can use level one uh, honor card defense card grenade pack it, it's they actually have come up with a lot of different items in the cash shop uh, even here you've got just different display and, and things like that and then surround sound <laughs> effects engine I don't know who to spend money on this stuff but I guess you know if you want to take in and, and you're a male and you play a female and you want to change your voice <laughs> you can pick this up but Let's jump into uh, a game really quick. You can, let's go to our storage. You can see here's the items that I do have. You even have a, you even start with a bazooka, and you are able to switch weapons on the fly in the game. But let's get into a game. Let's do a quick join real quick. That looks good. Let's do ready, and let's jump in there. Hopefully, it'll start pretty soon. Do 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 do. But this is a team deathmatch. Time limit 20 minutes. Max kills 200. Uh, hopefully this the room owner will start the game pretty soon. You can see there's a room owner, a super room owner. I'm guessing the super room owner actually has to be 
uh, somebody actually has to be paid for. Let's get out of here. Let's see if we can't get into a different game quicker. There it is. So that's much better. Now you can see this map is pretty crazy. It's just this square, and you've got basically four blocks to hide from. So unfortunately, Fraps did crow. The game actually crashed on me. So we're going to go ahead and try this again. So let's do a quick join. Let's see if we can't. So here we go. So you get to, when you first start out, you get to pick which weapon you want to use. We're going to go ahead and go with the assault rifle, and let's get going. Now, one thing that's really crazy about this is when you spawn, there is no reload timer, so or no safety timer. So essentially, as soon as you spawn, you better be ready to go because the game is ready for you. There's somebody in here, so let's see if we can't get them with a grenade. And the usual W A S and D moves you around. Spacebar to jump. Oh, three guys. I can't take them on all by myself. Too bad I didn't still have my grenade. And you are automatically set in a run mode. You have to uh, hold down shift to actually uh, walk slower. So instead of you having to hold down shift to run, you hold down shift to walk slower. And then control to crouch. The usual stuff. Nothing surprising there. Those guys were camping out in there, so let's see if we can't take some of them out. No, no dice. Oh, I'm sucking it up. I am in the general channel, so guys are going to be a little bit more adept at taking me out. Let's see if we can't get... It's funny, I played a bit of this yesterday just to kind of get warmed up. And uh, it seemed a lot easier. The control seemed a lot easier. There we go. We're starting to get warmed up a little bit. Maybe I should have played a couple times before I started uh, recording for you guys. Kind of get uh, that guy's camping in there. So let's throw a grenade in there and see if we can't wax him. Got one with a grenade. Got that guy. Three in a row. Oh, my buddy saved me right there while I was reloading. So see if we can't uh, get a few more. Now the graphics, as you can see, aren't great, but it is good for players that, uh, there we go, headshot. It is good for players that don't have the high-end uh, machines. You can go ahead and, and, and jump into the game, whereas games like uh, Ava or Genesis AD, different, some of the newer titles out there in the, in the first-person shooter realm, they, they require much, much higher um, much, much, much higher requirements as far as the, their games are concerned. So, if you if you are looking for a game, the game is lagging a little bit, which is pretty funny because, oh, I guess I was still hanging out just enough beyond that spot so that guy could get me. It was pretty funny because the graphics aren't that intense. There's just too many guys in there. We need a grenade in there. See if we can't take... S there. I love when guys come in and injured. Makes it easier for me to get my kill count high, especially when I need all the help I can get. That guy's going to waste all his bullets, and then while he's reloading, we're going to take him out. Ugh. I hate running out of ammo. I I need the unlimited ammo hack. <laughs> Except I don't believe in hacking, so don't 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 go out there and build that. So one of the things that I like about this is it's pretty basic as far as your aiming. You don't have a lot of you know different recoil and stuff like that. I admittedly, ha like I told you guys, I haven't played enough first-person shooters to really get used to recoil and all those different things that a, a lot of the more pro players are used to. So for me, a game that you know, you simply just shoot and kill is is good for me. Let's see if we can't take at least one of these guys out with that grenade. Oh, still reloading. You should reload while you throw your grenade. <laughs> I know. How many hands is somebody supposed to have? So it's pretty much not possible to reload while you throw a grenade. But even with this basic weapon, you do have some zoom. So you can take and, and zoom in on somebody and, 
and get a, get a, get a better shot on him. So let's get in here behind this. I think there's a guy that likes to camp in there. So let's see if we can't oh, ricochet the wrong way. Instead, let's cruise in there. Nope, he's not in there. But overall, I mean, the game, the game's mechanics are fluid. Nothing to complain about there. The graphics are not the best, but they're good enough to where if you're looking for something different, um, the game does have headshots, which I know in some cases a lot of people like that, especially, you know, those guys that are used to playing stuff like combat arms, things like that. I'm about to die, so I'm going to... Oh, did I get hit from behind? I may have. There's no, there's no wait time. Pretty much just you die and you respawn. So there's no wait time for you to kind of figure out what, what you did or, or what happened. And to play and your computer specs are not as, uh, as great. This is a good one to pick up simply because, as you can see, the graphics aren't amazing. But they do have a, some cool little things. So you can see you've got, uh, I'm 6 and 4 right now, and you've got donations. So essentially, that's how much I've donated to the, to the cause. Essentially meaning that because I have two kills, or two kills more than I have deaths, and then uh, that, that donates those two pieces. So every time you die, you actually lose points, essentially, for your team. So you don't want to die. Big, big key there. <laughs> As if I needed to tell you guys that. Don't die. Let's see if we can creep around the corner here. We got one of our my buddies there. So he's he's creeping along with this. Looks like he's got a sniper rifle. He does. So where the hell is everybody? So I got him started and then that... Oh, I was taken out from behind. He wasn't covering me. You gotta cover your... You gotta cover your partners. Remember that. In any, in any first person shooter game, cover your partners. Can't just let them hang out there to dry. So let's head around here. I know some of you may recognize this map. Um, I don't play enough first-person shooters, but I've heard that they do copy quite a few maps. But for those people that play a lot of the first-person shooter games, um, it is a little bit advantageous for you guys because, hey, you already know the maps. So I don't think there's a ton of people complaining when these games copy maps Let's see if we can't do a little ricochet shot there and get somebody no dice oh there's somebody up in that was pretty funny I just jumped away from the get these guys just running back and forth oh that guy got me it's my own fault for just standing still so I'm still at 2, 8, and 6 not the greatest, but self-admittedly, I am pretty horrible at first-person shooter games. Um, mainly because I don't play them that much, but what are you going to do? Oh, guy was camping right there on me. Let's see if we can't go and get him. Let's let these guys go first. <laughs> Always let the guinea pigs go first. There. Take him out. I don't know if he's still there or not, but we're going to let that guy go. Throw this grenade in there. Even with the grenades, like the grenades go off rather quick. There's a headshot. Let's see if we can't take at least one more of these guys out. Need to re reload. Maybe that guy will help me. Get out of my way. Okay, we got reloaded. Got him. <laughs> Which is pretty funny because it looked like I was totally missing him. But I still got him. Oh, that guy got me with it. Either uh, just got me with a shot or a sniper shot. I'm not sure because I was pretty low on health anyways. But let's see what we can do here. Let's try not to stand right in that way. I can't believe these snipe these snipers are awful. I was <laughs> actually I was pretty awful. I was showing you guys the snipers and uh, showing you how bad they were, and I just was standing there and got waxed. But uh, what are you gonna do? So, but like I said, uh, Mission Against Terror. Something a little bit different if you're looking for a change away from your normal combat arms, stuff like that. And one more kill before we go. And since I am out of time, let's see if we can get that guy. He's right there. He's waiting. He's going to come out any second. Oh, missed him. Oh, well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And if you want to play or learn more, <coughs> excuse me. If you want to play or learn more about Mission Against Terror, you can read our full review over at MMODen.com or click the link below.
Till next time, thanks for watching.